Hello guys, here's Madame OK. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it. If you enjoy watching the videos, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye! Hello guys, here's Madame OK and today I want to invite you to paint with me more or less a copy of the uh, Bridge of the Allie by Roger Fry. Beautiful painting, but we will be using palette knife. If you are familiar with the painting, those colors that came from my printer are not really the one in the painting. Let us start by sketching. So what I have to do, I can see that there will be a bridge coming a little bit above here so maybe i will start let me see bridge is very important to me so i will just create the line here and i can see it's going slightly under diagonal and then i will need to have the bottom of it so that will be like a snake coming there and i see it's going to the half of my uh, canvas or in my case paper so approximately here then what is important to me just to see the way how the river flows so right this right those lines are not perfect but i can see this organic movement now i have to have kind of island or another side of the land so that's definitely let me see it's very narrow coming coming there so i will i will really bring it there and then we have it here and then we certainly come with the land here and then we come there okay so like this fantastic um there will be the uh, part of the foliage of the tree there will be another tree coming here i'm not worried about that what i'm worried about not worried exactly is the land over there like small hills coming there and then you can see right away that we will have trees over there actually first in the back and then the trees in the front so this i leave this is important part for me and those canopies of the trees over there there will be a number of them whatever will happen here it doesn't matter because i those green parts the trees will come later on the top so this is fine we have the bush here will be covered i just have to see for myself and then it has those three parts of the arches i will put one I'll put the second one here and the third one, well, it's a little bit more visible, so maybe this should move a little bit further. Let's see, one, one will come, one will come here, like this. Do you see it clearly? I just want to make sure that each of you can see what's going on. There's just the top of it and then, of course, the side, right? So we have it here, one side coming here like this and then will be the other one so this very skinny part coming here okay i also have to make sure that i know where's the ending you know what maybe i make it a little bit too wide who knows whoa 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 we will find out okay and then i have this part coming there slightly the same angle so you see like this and then i have to have the third one that will come here right a little bit narrower than this one this really you have to show that will be longer and wider here for sure but we can we can fix those small things later on it's not a big deal right and then this part again some coming here shoo 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 good so we have our sketch and then we see a little bit more of this part here good so that's enough for us to know and now it's we are ready to paint and we are painting using our wonderful palette knives so they see the blue that comes from a very nice mixture of tailor color so i have a little notice here i have a little bit of my tailor here and i have to get the white and to be honest with you the way how you should start painting is to first when you use vampires such as tailor because it's a very powerful color, you rather start with mixing tailor into the into the uh, white. And now, with this color, I will go there where I see it. Okay, I don't need to apply really heavy layers. And a little bit more of it here as well. See, like this. 
And yes, we want to have this color in the bag. See, and I don't want to have it too much again. You see, I'm scraping, 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 scraping everything. As you can see, I applied thin layers of paint. I'm not rushing. See, like this, and that really helps to establish the base. Fantastic. And even in this section where I have a little bit more brownish colors, I'm still not worried about it. See, I still go with the paint, this blue, very cool blue on the top. This is the color that I want to use. I don't want to have it white. I don't want to have a really yellow ochre by itself. I want to have a color that has this Naples quality. Naples color comes exactly from the yellow ochre. So, this color has to be present definitely here. And again, how I apply it, I'm not worried about the tree. You see, I can also have those differentiations already of the colors. And I'm moving with it fast, 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 fast. On the side, and then we have the tree coming here. But though even I have a tree, I still want to make sure that I really show the difference here. Okay, so the another part that I want to do, I want to use more of yellow ochre and just go behind the bridge on the hill. Good. And then we want to come with some darker colors inside of this um, arch. So spe specifically on the top. I'm still looking for some parts here. So the stones, the rocks here, there will be a little bit of blue color here. But even then, you see with yellow ochre, I can go and apply some of those shapes you see introducing the effect of this pebbles rocks whatever it's here and again with my palette knife i dab notice when i dab it the paint will go into it then some rocks apply some of the bluish colors but they can also come later on okay so you see just to create the effect that we have something on the ground there See a little bit more working around these edges, fantastic. So I need to bring the same on the other side, a little bit happier colors, I think would be okay. Yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. So not really super heavy, just enough to give us the hint what's going on. And this has to be flatter here. Okay. Uh, from there, I think I want to move towards the, a little bit of pink. I think I can apply very, very small amount. And I have it, like you see, my paint is still here, still wet from the previous painting. And I will go with it. See, even in some sections, see when I dab it here a little bit more, I want to have it especially there. Good. And then I think we also want to bring some of those colors in the, in the sky. Now, green, green, green. And the green that I want to use, it's really a cool green. So I have, I have this green and I mix it with a little bit of Taylor. See, so right away Taylor blue, so right away my color will have a different quality. See? A little bit of it here. Like, almost like islands of the green. 
to think where is my where are my trunks so when i look at my trunks i mix yellow ochre a little bit here but you know what i still have to have a darker color in the back so this is this will not work back so you see like this i need to see those colors first then i can work with some other colors and then we will have something darker here fantastic and then and i would use the brush for it because it will be easier for the trunks you see the trunk will come here and then mix red with yellow ochre see so i need to use edge and i don't i'm not worried when i get a little bit wider shapes but notice how i apply the paint i make sure that it really, really looks heavy now i have to look here for my for my tree and the tree will be here see and then then it will be those on those heels i also have to bring those colors on the heels because it seems that there's this atmospheric perspective so what we have we have very light color kind of bluish grayish color on the top of the heel here because i want to get this fantastic those fantastic colors here you see like that's my tree and i have chuk 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 see chuk 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 i put the lighter color on the top i can have something coming here as well something in the back so a little bit more of the green on the bottom part you see like in those sections now here i have another tree coming and i want to bring it the way that you see i create the mass here of the whatever it is supposed to be i get some of my blue here because i really love this color mix into the rest see i will go like this so you can see how beautifully those colors work together like this and then the water we want to have reflections in it right of the of the trees and we have this nice orangey color here which i really want to introduce see like this so i need to have it and we'll go back to the hills maybe we have to use brush who knows right but those trees have to come here that's what the art is done and i'm dabbing 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 the stuff here on the top notice i'm not rushing have to get darker I think I would use red here on the top to darken my arch you see oh it works so well yep look at this yep and then still going to my trees to bring in the movement to them then we have this darker part of the green and blue going next to the water like this fantastic and all those reflections in the water i really like the idea of introducing blue here in the water and just bringing the reflection but we still have this color on the bottom here not too much not too little just scrubbing it well, I want to get my trees properly created. See like this. This is good, but I need to help myself with the brush. Then, then I need to go back to the heel. And with the heel, I have to use the brush this time because I have to I have a very small um, paper, so I have to simplify it by using see the back because this is just the backdrop for whatever is happening here in our painting so what is it here that's a shadow oh that's a shadow so we certainly want to come with another color here see just there and then we have this nice whatever it's here i don't know but it just goes nicely as a flow here now with those canopies of the trees on the back they also have to change they can't be the same and I also have to come back to my tree here and get a little bit thicker. 
I really have to create a crazy, crazy trees that you will read as trees through all those hints that I'm giving you. Everything is rich and beautiful, fantastic. And then we need to put one tree also in the front. So for that purpose, we will use blue and green. So now I want to create some shadows in those trees that we have here as well. See, we can't have just one kind. So I'm going, um, see even underneath of this canopy, I need some of the other colors as well. Okay. And then definitely bringing it on this side here, like this, okay? Because we need to have this richness. Fantastic, and more. More of it here, and more of it here. Then we certainly have to come with some trees here. Good, and still a little bit more. Look at this, such a rich tree, and that has to be darker underneath. So remember, the shadows have to come Now, I'm still looking at those trees and I'm not so perfectly happy about them, so I have to develop them with different colors. But this is still my bridge and I have to think what I do with them. And what we got. This one is nothing here, so maybe I just will go with the line like this here. So you see it's lots of movement. Ooh, 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 I like it like this. Lots of movement. Okay, then the bridge. Uh, the bridge needs to have some red color underneath here to show us where is the top of it. And then I can come back to it like you see blue. Yeah, blue actually would be a good idea here like this. And then I come with the white on it. See what help here was the red. So I'm going back to the red. I don't want to have too much, I just will bring it boom here. Yeah. Fantastic. So in some places I will also go with red here. See I'm bringing some of this movements here and there. Certainly the red on the top of my tree. love it I just love it like this mm -hmm. now I want to have a push in the front of the tree see coming picking up through here yeah. So we need some darker colors and then some lighter one on the top. I want to have a cooler color on it. Like this, like this. See the cool green. Right? And I think we have to go to the clouds. They're a little bit pinkish clouds. Oh my God, so fantastic. Here next to our see here we have a little bit of the pink and I want to bring it because the pink oh ooh la la guess we can't go in, we only can go in one direction as you can see you see because the pink helps the trees to stand out since they have this greenish color okay and the same it's very much here so we have a little bit of the pink that we have to introduce you see here by the sky but not you, you don't want to have huge amount of the paint I will try to move it to this direction and then you have this beautiful blue so you see and the same on the water i think we still have to have in some places a little bit of this pink introduced and then blue 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 has to come back okay and then we probably will be done with it okay i don't want to mix the color too much you see the sky has to be really 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 light 
so it's pink is there for sure but we also need to bring the other blue here oh wow that's good now i need to have some patches of white on it see when i bring some patches of white then the color will work well together see like this see and then everything is looking so good here wow i really need to come on the water so you see this is a good color but i need to have another one as well so this would be a different blue for the water and i want to introduce it as well sections here but we have to introduce a little bit of the blue as well and then we will come through because there are some trees here but we want to have a social that there are those reflections not for long just one part see and then we can be a little bit bolder and go with a tiny bit of dark colors you see in the water and let it run like this this i like the scraping stuff what has happened there you see like this in the water but we have lots of beautiful reflections here this and then we have this we have this coming through, like you see here, coming, interpreting it as the shadow. I still bring a little bit more of this color here, you see? Wow, what is going on in our painting now? Wow, that looks really crazy, right? See here, we have lots of lots of going on and those reflections. And I want to bring some still a little bit more of this color here on the bottom and then back to the blue. I still think that we have to go back to those heels and add a little bit of the color that would be light, but it has to go there. Some of those. And the here, not exactly. Then I will go with see stuff. So I use this very bright yellow and I bring it in some sections here in the back. Everything is about the balance. See even even in this section here, I still need a little bit more. See of those patterns. Oh, I didn't notice it here, but I do. I need more those very rocks or whatever it's there. See, and then those heels. Yeah, we have to have something on them. Look at this. Still, maybe a little bit more yellow here and there. To help us to see better the tree you see how it moves then there and this this is really really fantastic see then we can bring some blue here skin the tree a little bit more because when it's too thick it's too thick right you can see here helping it in some of the sections with some green to interpret okay fantastic so guys i think we've done it i really think so because otherwise we will work and work and work on it and it has to be the finished right the product has to be the painting has to be completed so i think that helps here i still have this color so i want to bring it on the other side see a little bit more emphasizing and mixing it into the water and really dark darkening the section where we have the tree or bush we have this section right 
so look at this wow it's quite nice really nice with some black coming here and some black pushed in some places here and there okay guys and you know what even here bringing some of this black so guys what do you think are we done can we call it quit because it's never such things that the painting gets finished we have to consciously decide that we don't want to work on it anymore that we said already what we wanted to say and it's time to quit so I hope that you enjoyed the process with me and now you are ready to paint your own painting done in this style. Have a wonderful day and see you next time. Bye! Ooh, I see one more point. Yeah, you see? Just a little bit. Always, always something to add. Right? Just a little bit more. I think that will have that will be a better addition. So let's see stuff. And I hope that you enjoyed the process and now work on your own. Have a good day. Bye.